this episode is going to be the last one just for a little bit we're having a break we are having a huge rebrand we're going to get like a new set it's going to be very like I'm not actually going to give anything away let's just keep it as a surprise and we did an epic photo shoot um Sophie and I really love the photos it's gonna be really cool it's just a new era for the girls you know so we're just gonna clock off for a little bit of time whilst we um sort all that out and then we're gonna come back with a bang and it's gonna be stunning hey guys hey guys welcome back to another pod <laughs> with Timmy the Tim Tim Tim. Oh, thanks for having me back. She's come back and um, I get to see Sophie tomorrow at um, George's wedding. George's wedding. They've been out there obviously prep, 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 but I can't wait to go. I'm honestly so excited. We're flying really early in the morning. What time? I love an early flight. I do when I don't because I'm worried about this air traffic control incident. So hopefully we don't like wake up at 5am for nothing. That's what I'm hoping for. I hope you don't sit in the airport for ages. Mm. At least you're not flying on the day she's Of the wedding, yeah, yeah, yeah. So flight's at 8am. Okay, nice time to travel. Nice time to travel. Day one drinks, gorgeous, gorgeous. Welcome drinks, welcome drinks. Welcome <laughs> Day two, wedding. Day three, full party. Yeah. Day four. And then and then time. we fly back at midnight that night. I'm like, what are we doing? Because Toby's got a job on the Sunday and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, would have been nice to have a day of relaxation. I just you know. think it's just, it's just, there's a lot of weddings. There's a lot of- It's wedding there's season. There's a lot of time off and then when you get to the end of it, you're like, no, no, we need to get back home. Yeah, we've got work to do. The other weddings I've been like, oh, let's take some extra time yeah, off. Yeah, it's summer and- when am I? Can't. No. When am I? When are we going to get away? <laughs> when the fuck's that day? My fingers cold. It's 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 awfully light. It's awfully light. Oh my god! Someone else got engaged. Who? Who was it? It's getting it's a bit honestly annoying like another now. one bites it's the dust. It's honestly becoming a bit annoying. Also, everyone's getting younger and younger and younger, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't. And I'm getting older and older and older. <laughs> <laughs> it's really upsetting. Right. So you have gossip hot off the press about Maya Jammer and Stormzy. Not really, because everyone's obviously been talking about it, but... No, no, have you seen... But there's been rumours of this for a long, long time. But they are actually but now on holiday together. Legit. And they got photographed in Greece together, holding, holding hands. hands. Did see that. But, like, she's been engaged since they broke up. She was engaged to Ben Simmons, the NBA player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot's happened. A lot's happened. Right. Four years. We've had a pandemic. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> a whole problem. universe. A lot. It's rejuvenated itself. But it makes me think, like, looking at them getting back together, like... It makes me really believe in love. <laughs> because it's just like really, it's a really sweet romantic story. It is and it isn't. Like they, were each other's, they, were, they were each other's like first proper love. Like yeah. she was with him before the fame, before he had anything. It's very true. Like it's really? so sweet. Yeah. I remember her doing an interview being like, I would go around to his house and like, I knew he didn't have any money. So I didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable. So I would just order the delivery off my phone. It was really sweet. Wait, hold on. So she, was she a big dog and he wasn't? Well, no, I didn't think she was a big dog, but he literally had no money. Oh my God, that's really gorgeous. Sad. Yeah. I, I just, didn't realise that they were that young when they got together. I think she, they, she was like 18. Wow. Yeah. <gasps> and then they were together for four years and they broke up for four years and now they got back together. So he cheated on her. That's why they broke up, right? Yeah, with Georgia Smith. See, right. I think that we're just going to have his back on this one just because I feel like the but fame he, got to him. But I feel like he's really tried to get her back. Like, oh my God. Persistence. The song. What was the recent, like, was it like the, the TV awards and he this new song he sung and everyone was like, it's clearly about Maya Jamma. Having... And she was like in the audience and I was like, oh my God. And she, he was like fully singing like lyrics being like, I'm sorry, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet peas. And okay, now he well, looks so happy. And in now all they're back videos. together. And it's just all. I've never seen him smile so much on social media. <laughs> I don't follow either of them, to be fair. She's just bloody stunning. 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 Every time, not. Oh, this is just so mean. I was going to say, like, every time, like, the Love Island girls, and I'm like, oh my God, they're all so pretty in their My Jam walks. I know, and, and I'm like, like no. Oh my God, another leak. Yeah, I know. She's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And she's got the chat, and she's funny. Yeah, she's she, fun like, ticks every box. She does. Uh, uh, guys love her as well, just because she's just so freaking jokes. <laughs> a quick um update on everyone i got my nails filed way shorter yeah I was anyone okay really nails. Maybe they look really great went way shorter so like there's not that much like from this side i remember there was so much nailage and i was like things are getting stuck under yeah, there it's, it's like, cleaner Ooh. more hygienic way more hygienic and i also think it looks more like clean girl the yeah. shorter nails the clean girl silky smooth hayley beep oh no hayley beep has really long nails what am i talking yeah, about but they look glazed and <laughs> Delicious. Have anyone tried that new glazed strawberry? I haven't, situation? but I won't. I've actually haven't tried anything from Desperate Rode. to get on the PR list, but I don't think we ever make it to get on Hayley Bieber's PR list. But if anyone's watching this that does Rode PR, please love send a package. Us some of that stuff. I'm desperados. Um, I watched the fir my first episode of Succession last night. Have you seen it? No. Pretty good. Quite serious. Serious. Quite serious. Oh my god! You know what really freaked me out though? Do you remember the kid from Home Alone? What's his name? Oh my god! Yeah, Macaulay. 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 Mac
Yeah. Cordy Kellen. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. So watching it, I was like, God, that guy looks awfully like the Home Alone boy. Googled it. It's his brother. They are honestly identical. Like the same eyes, like this, everything is the same. It's spooky. Well, they both had, they both did Hollywood acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, really enjoying it. So I'll okay, keep, we have to keep, tune in. I also think it's embarrassing to have not watched it. I feel like everyone in the like UK has watched watch it. it. And I'm like, oh my God, it's just like, it's almost like education at this point. Like, why haven't I watched it? And who is it the family that everyone talks about that it's about the Murdoch? The Mur- Rupert Murdoch. Mm. That's what it's that supposed what they to be said? about. That's what everyone says the, the family's about, yeah. I'm going to have to watch it. And it's based quite closely, like things that happen are like exactly what happened to the Murdoch family. And it's like annoying because it's obviously like people that have made the film have been quite close to the family, sorry, the series. And um, I think it's like fa- almost factual because it's like stuff that's never been exposed to the press, but it's now been put in the TV series. And everyone's like, oh my God. But apparently it's quite real. Wine time. Wine time. Have you seen this thing that's called favorite time. Wine time with Binks and Herodies. Have you seen that? No. They're like really like taking the piss. It's actually quite mean. Out of you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so quite funny. It was quite funny, and now I'm like, no, it's, it's not, not funny anymore. Stop, stop. <laughs> right. Let's stop, go. stop. So this bottle is probably one of the fa- best bottles I've ever seen. You know what? No one's done bottles. Best like- bottles you've ever seen. That's a bold statement. No, like the oh, the brand. It's very pretty. The- it's really beautiful. It's like a oh, tile. It's gorgeous. So it's a Portuguese. European summer is what yeah. it's giving. And it's um, Morrison's Best. Oh. Blended by the best winemakers, apparently. Alvarino. So it's not an Alvarino, it's an Alvarino. Because it's Portuguese, not Spanish. Um, Going to take a taste test of it now. Let's have a sip, sip. Cool. I like that. Easy to drink. We need to talk about Made in Chelsea also. Oh my God. Yeah, we do need to talk about Made in Chelsea. So we're currently filming the London series, which will air, I want to say, in October um, and probably run through till Christmas. But what's just aired and been on TV is Corsica. Yeah. That we filmed back um, in May and June. Can you give us some any insight? <laughs> do you know what? Watching it back, I, I think brilliant television. Like one of, some the, of the best series. One of the strongest series, I think. I've ever known, you know, the strongest series I've ever been on the show. Sure. But I also think one of the strongest series the show's had in a long time. A lot mm. of people say it reminds them of like old school Chelsea. Yeah. It was just chaos. It was honestly hectic. I think watching it back, because I was like living and breathing it. Yeah. It seems a, a lot softer, me watching it. But I think it's being been, in it. Oh my God, guys. Because being it's, in it's it, so like, heavy. I'm like, how have they underplayed it so much? But then it's obviously got a really good reception. Like, everyone like has been speaking about it. Like, loads of people I know friends family it was it was a lot a lot it was a lot you know we were in it was great like it was so much fun Corsica's course beautiful but you know when you're on these trips for six weeks it's it feels intense. like you're in your very much in your own bubble and like mm. it, nothing else seems to really matter at the time and you kind of slightly lose sense of like reality it felt kind of lockdown-esque really we were in Corsica we were off season we were in these two villas, like so it's high quiet up around the hills. Nothing in the town. Not much going on. You know, at the, initially we didn't have any cars. We were nowhere really to walk to in walking distance. We were slightly in the middle of nowhere. Eventually we did rent cars, and we had a great. We did have a great time, but it was it was hot. It was hard. You know, you're living in a house with you know six people that you're li- working with, living with, doing everything with. It's also a fine line because it's like it is work, but then at the same time it's kind of not it's like so hard to like describe and like like tell yourself like what it is that you're doing I always think I'm it's like, so hard because is it work is it play like you're talking you know it couldn't be any more personal pers- it is your personal yeah it's yeah, your it's personal so life it's you're putting you're vocalizing your mm-hmm. thoughts and your emotions your feelings about some of the things that are closest to you your yeah. relationships your friendships but then you're meant to sort of leave that at the door and then come home after that but you're, you're, you're with everyone still. I know, I know, I know. So there's no real like boundaries as such. But then in some ways when we do these trips, I think you form, you solidify such closer friendships yeah. because you're all in this together. I feel like when you're filming in London, you do your scene, you come home. You go home and then it's and like... And then that's that. Whereas you, ha- you have to sort of be closer with each mm. other. Can you believe we were in Bali a year ago? Nearly. Oh, that's immense. That only feels like it was three months ago. I know. I remember the day we landed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the whole thing so clearly. Yeah, we did have such a laugh. Oh, we had such a laugh. I was talking to Julius about all the donuts we used to eat and the cookies. I know oh cinnamon, God, buns, cookies, cinnamon, cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns, and cookies. Oh my God, they cinnamon buns. Gojeks. Go we didn't leave each other's side for six weeks. Oh no, I didn't we were do anything really inseparable. 
I'm really in that. We really were. Oh, it was actually quite fun. It reminded me of like, oh, this sounds so like people boarding that rock school. their boarding school. It reminds me so so much of like that, like just going into your friend's room and being like, should we do this? Should we do that? <laughs> like just so fun. It was good vibes. It was good vibes. Okay, right. Shall we move on to sweet or dry? I'm reading the first one and I feel sick. Yeah, me too. Kissing their mum on the lips as an adult. Grow up. That's Grow- dry as fuck. That's dry just- as Fuck. It's like calling your mum mummy as like a 40 year old man. No. I know, I agree. It's, no. it's along similar lines. It is along similar it's lines. It's not right. Mummy. When do we think is an appropriate age to stop the kissing on the lips of the parents? I was thinking about this. I think maybe seven, and then that's like quite a push, but I think seven is like an appropriate age. Because I think it's when you tr- get to the age of like 10, 11, no. I'm like, I'm in year seven, and I'm like, you know, I'm going through puberty at that point ish. So I don't think so. It's do you know like- what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I think I think once you become a little bit more of a girl rather than a little girl. <laughs> oh my god, that even sounds fucked up in itself. <laughs> little girl. But um No, I hear you. I agree. I think, I think we have to call it a day. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Call get it a away day. From Six slash seven. No, no. And it's not it's not sweet in the slightest. I'm trying to think of like have I seen in films where like a mother and daughter goes, bye bye. No. I don't think that's I don't really so like to be icky. honest. Remember ever really kissing either parent, neither even do as a I. Small child on the lips. I know I do as like a small child. I mean, like like that's I, fine. I can imagine myself doing it because I watch like toddlers when they're four. Like, yeah, bye, mummy. Love, yeah. bye, daddy. Like that's like so what fine. You do. Yeah, of course, that's so fine. But I don't have a memory of it. No, neither. So it must have stopped. I don't know. Yeah. I definitely, definitely still have kisses on the cheek from my parents. Oh, of course. Yeah, me too. But not on the lips. No. Put those Not lips away. Lips. Put those lips away. Saying they'll marry you a few weeks into the relationship. No, red, red flag. Well, I mean, you could say one yes day. Yes and no, because mm. I've had it before where someone dated me and they're like, I'll fucking marry you. And I was like, ooh, quite fit. Yeah, maybe quite fit. But I also think like we don't know. Each it depends other. on the severity of like how seriously they're saying it, don't you think? If you're really into them, I would be like, yeah, stop it. <laughs> marry me tomorrow. I said to Nick very quickly on, I was like. <laughs> Here it goes. It's all going like, out. I think. I think yeah. Never marry. yeah. But like, no. Wait, I, tell me wait, how you said No, it. I just was like, well, you know, they're fucking around here. To be fair, you get to a certain age where you're not going to bother wasting your time on someone unless you actually think it's for the long term. Yeah. Unless it's end game, you know? But I think if you don't know someone that well and they're really dropping like several like wet, like hints about marriage, I think that, I think that is a bit of a red flag. Yeah, because some people can really be love bombed by that You can be love bombed. I think it's so true. You have to be really careful. You've got to stay safe out there. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't think with Toby, Toby said quite early on, I think like a month in, he was like, I want to be with you forever. That, okay, so that that's really romantic and that's really nice. I mean, and there's no pissed. pressure with that. That seems a lot more like, whereas ma- like, I want to marry you a few weeks in is a bit like, well, no. no. Oh, someone said to me they would baby trap me. <laughs> a few weeks in and I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> Still no sure baby. thing, honey. Still no baby. <laughs> anyway, okay. A colleague calling their work husband i think that's so fine depends on the vibe so i call julius my work husband i would i would do that if we were filming for chelsea and i call you my work wife yeah yeah yeah. i I think that's so fine sweet yeah sweet sweet again depends on the scenario you know it's how you say it it's context i think if they're like hubby and they're like calling them that around the office that's maybe a little bit step too far but if they're saying it in the third person like oh he's just my work husband oh yeah yeah they have to work together all the time like that's fine yeah yeah, i agree it's just context isn't it at the end of the day guys Okay, Dilemma 1, would you like to read it or should I? Yeah, I'm happy to read it. So, my boyfriend and I have been together for just over a year and very much in love. We met at work and sparks just instantly started between us. The story is very juicy as we met in the army. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Oh, sweet. It honestly felt like I'd known him for years. He'd just come out of a seven-year relationship and him and his ex got together when they were 15. Shit. So she's the only person he'd slept with beside me. My dilemma is that I've been single up until meeting him and felt like I've lived my single life to the fullest. So so I don't need to be with anyone else. Because of this, before we were official, I said to him that I was scared he would want to experience the single life later on. And he said that a small part of him wanted to, but he says it will never happen as he sees me as his soulmate. Aww. That's really sweet. I love the word soulmate. Me too. I don't think anyone's ever said that to me, which is really No, I don't, I've never <laughs> no. been told that by any boyfriend, neither, previous partner. Neither. No one's ever said you're boyfriend. my boyfriend. <laughs> no, my current boyfriend's never said to me you're my soulmate. Neither. Heart wrenching. Do I bring up this topic again for closure of my anxiety ridden mind and risk him and risk hurting him or do I just ignore it and tell myself that I'm being silly? 
We honestly have a great relationship. He's my best friend, but I can't help but feel like I've taken his freedom away from him. No, I think you're being silly. I think he loves you and I don't think that... that seeing what life is just not what it's cracked up to be. The grass isn't always greener. No, it's not. But I get, I, I get where she's coming I, from so and I get the mindset I so get and I get that, you know, there's that kind of weird guilt even though like no one's forcing him to be with her like obviously he's with her because he loves her mm. they obviously have a great relationship as she stated but there's that whole feeling of like he's not done what I've done I've done the years I've had it tick 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 is he going to suddenly satisfied. want in three years time to try that out whether the grass is greener or not he's not experienced it I have I know that I want to be with him and not a matter yeah. of him not loving her and not wanting to be with him but it's like you have to kind of have that I think this is only my opinion, but I feel I like do you kind of have you. to have those few years, or even not even years, a few at least months, few months of being on your own, knowing who you are, and getting having your own fun. identity. In the, yeah. Yeah, 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 having fun. I agree, but then I think when you have undeniable chemistry with someone, totally. you think that your soulmate, then that's never going to be replicated properly ever again. I agree, and you're not really going to get that in your single life. You're going to have like what a couple like soulless one night yeah, stands that just leave you feeling a little bit empty and like shit yeah I just don't think it's a vibe I agree it's not a vibe but I so agree where you're coming from I think I wouldn't necessarily bring it up again unless you really feel like you're sensing that he's mm. wanting that or like he's because to me like he's saying these things to you I wouldn't push I would just I would just accept that you're like having a wonderful time with him share him a good time share him a good time so share sure. him a good time no I agree I think I think I wouldn't keep bringing it up because I also think yeah. you might then start Put putting thoughts in, in his, his head. head. Yeah. But if she feel like he's like pushing away from you or you feel like something's off, then I'd bring it up. But for now, just enjoy your relationship. I so agree. I so agree. If it's not broken, don't try and fix it. Yeah. Is that the right word? Mm -hmm. Okay, dilemma C. So my boyfriend of nearly six years started a new job and became extremely close to this other oh, no. girl. No, 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 no. Shit. 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 At she night. was night. She was texting him at night, getting lifts into work with him no. and getting lifts home. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Well, it depends. No, not at night, not at no, night. No, no, don't message don't him at night. don't need to text him up. at night. I so agree. Why at night? I night, did a little night. research on her to see, to see she also had a boyfriend. So I felt a bit of relief and just thought I was overreacting. I randomly asked him one day about her and her boyfriend and he told me she had no boyfriend and they recently broke up. It's getting worse. <laughs> It's getting worse. It's getting worse. I'm like holding on. <laughs> I obviously felt very insecure because the texting kept getting worse. Okay, right. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. I tried to confront him about them always texting each other and he grabbed his phone and instantly removed her as a friend. Screams good. I started bawling my eyes out because I instantly thought he was cheating. A few days later, I randomly got a message from her boyfriend oh, no. asking if I found their relationship weird, dot, dot, dot. Turns out she lied about her boyfriend and and her breaking up. Long story short, my boyfriend told this girl he can't talk to her anymore because I wasn't comfortable with it. But with it, after begging him not to tell her in case she thought I was a controlling girlfriend. No, this is fucked up already in itself. I don't know what to do. Should I forgive him and believe that he did no wrong, or should I reconsider the relationship? This I, I am dilemmas. smelling. These, these yeah, 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 I am really smelling a fucking rat. This is not right. This is not right. This is not right from the start, from word three in this yeah, whole yeah, yeah. dilemma. I, you know, there is having, of course, you're going to have friends from the opposite sex at work, in your social life. It's healthy, I believe. But She's there are so boundaries. There are boundaries. Then text, <laughs> texting at night. No, you work a nine to five with me. Don't text That's me. That's why we call it a day. <laughs> That's where we call it a day. You I know, clock off at five. I clock off at That's five. That's relationship ends. Yeah, very much so. Like, you know, I the occasional agree. text about something work related in the evening, I can let that slide. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Continuous, you know. <laughs> I can. <laughs> you know, keeping it to the root cause, no, which I is I so work. agree. I so agree. This is fucked up. He's having an affair. <laughs> He's having an affair. I'm just going to put it out there. Even if it's not physical, it's emotional. Yeah. They're feeling a certain type of way about each other. For her to then lie that she broke up with her ex-boyfriend, that's weird in itself. I agree. Why the li Why lying? The because lying, I smelling around. I, I think that... He I I think unfortunately, around. things like this just do fucking happen. They do. And I think that you deserve better and this is messed up. I also think your gut, you'll know. You know. Yourself. You know. You've written this into us. You really know. Speak to your friends about it. Don't keep it in. I know it's like hard, but um, I would speak to your friends about it and 
to be honest, I don't think you're ever going to be okay with him going to the office. You're going to have anxiety every day. Yeah. You shouldn't be feeling like that. You should be so at ease and, and comfortable. There has been a few occasions where I have felt uneasy about my relationship. Tim has three yeah. too, like we all do. Absolutely. But it's never been to the point where like I'm daily anxious about about him like going off to work and stuff no. like that. And Toby has to go and like film fit girls like naked all the time. Not naked, that's so crazy. But like, you know, in like gym kit and like bikinis, like, you know, and he has to like model next to fit girls. Like, and I feel so secure. Yeah, which is how you should feel. Because he makes me feel secure and it's just not something I ever worry about. So the fact that he's going into an office every day and you're having this anxiety and there's a girl messaging him and like, no, no, no. No, no. I think this is. I think this is crossing line. I would actually go as far as saying it's emotionally cheating. You deserve is, more. You do deserve more. I would have. Okay, right. So what's she gonna do now? We need to give her advice. I would honestly. This is very dramatic, but I'd be. I'd leave him. I should left him. <laughs> what? Pack up a bag and. <laughs> You pack know. your bags and pack go. Pack your bags and go. No, I think that you should probably have a conversation. And be like, look. This makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm going to leave because. Yes. This is how I'm feeling. If um, there's really nothing going on, you would have let me see your phone. You took the phone, deleted the messages, which which tells me that there's something on that you didn't want me to see, which is not how it should be. Um, and I'm going to leave. And then see how much... Because sometimes boys fuck up. Sometimes people fuck up, make mistakes. And if you want to be in the relationship, you have, to, you have to see how much he grovels. But if it was me, I would leave him. If it was me, because I would be like, you've cheated on me. I think once the trust is broken, it's very hard to regain Very hard there. to regain the trust when it's broken. I so agree. Good luck. <sighs> <laughs> All right, dynamic three. She's, That's pissed me off. <laughs> she's fuming. She's That's really pissed me off. <laughs> I clock off at five. <laughs> Don't contact me. Off. Yeah. <laughs> I so agree. He's taken the phone, he's deleted the messages. She's lied about having a, a boyfriend breaking up with, that she's broken up with. There's too many components going on. It's not like there's one thing, there's like four. It's fishy. It's fishy. It's fishy. I don't think there's any going back from this, if I'm being completely honest with you. You deserve way better. You sound like a lovely girl. Fuck that. And you're not a controlling girl. This is this is fucked up because it's making you feel like you are yeah. controlling and you're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not. Right, dilemma three. Has that got the heart rate variability up, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, stress that out. <laughs> <sighs> dilemma three. I've been messaging a boy recently <laughs> that I quite like. <laughs> The only ooh, exciting. Ooh. The only problem is that I haven't slept with someone in a while and not that many people in my life. So I think I'm being a total sh- So I think that I am a total <laughs> shit shack. No, oh. never put that stuff out no, into the no. universe. You are not you a shit shag. You are not shag. a shit shag. You are the best shag of your life. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You have to tell yourself that. Best shag of anyone else's life, you mean? Of anyone else's yeah. life, yeah. People should be honoured to sleep with you. Yes. Have you seen that TikTok? It is an honour to be with me. Oh my God, no, I have. She should tell yourself yeah, that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me so scared to meet up. It makes me so scared to meet up with not only this boy, but other boys as well, because they all seem so experienced and I don't want them to think I'm terrible. Oh my god, it. stop! No, the self-esteem needs to be risen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also think if you just just keep putting stuff out into the universe, you're a phenomenal shag. It's also not just about like it's so you, much it's more about than the connection. That. Yeah, and then completely. that's what makes it good, I think. I completely agree. My friends are also so experienced. What does experienced really mm. mean? And when they chat about it, it makes me even more nervous as I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no, oh, you no. sweet pea. I'm no. only turning 19 and I know oh it comes with God, time. Oh, my God, you're a baby. Oh, my God. I know it only comes with time, but it makes me feel so insecure. I think it's also feeling insecure about my body as well that stops me from getting romantically involved with anyone. Please give me some advice. It's needed. Okay, right, listen. I so get it from the security angle because that affects anything. Like, when I have, when I had the skin thing, I, like... I didn't even want to be around Toby because I was like, I feel insecure about myself. And then I like hated him and I was like, no, I can't even be around you. No. But so I, I understand by by having like an insecurity the other than like, I'd rather just not go there with boys because it's like, you don't feel confident enough to, which I so, I can understand, but we have to move past this hurdle because you're going to look amazing and you're going to be a great jag. I think well, confidence is so many different things. It's I think complicated. We, it is complicated, but I think there's things you can do yeah. That make you feel better about yourself. Like even like the little things and like how you live your life. Yeah. Like I think she needs to stop worrying about what other people think about these boys and what her friends are doing and focus on her. Like, so young. I mean, I really wouldn't 
put pressure on yourself. And also, just because you're speaking to someone, you know, it doesn't need to be sex. Like, go meet up with him, have a drink with him. Go. Yeah, you don't you're need putting to, a lot of pressure. You're putting on a lot yourself. of pressure on it. Like, let's just. You might not even like him. You might, you know, so it's, true. It's a. You've got to gauge the vibe, and don't think because I'm talking to him, he's gonna expect this, or I need to do this. Go and don't think about that. Go and have fun with him. Enjoy his time. Enjoy your time with each other, and see where it goes. That's a lovely piece of advice. I also think, I'm just going to clock back to the holiday, just as a bit of a reference. Do you remember when she's just so beautiful and she's just in the cottage and Jude Law swans in all drunk and she's like, I'm not very good at sex. And he's like, no, I bet you're great. And she's like, no, I'm not very good. And they shag and he's like, best shag of my life. So I think a lot of people think they're bad. I know this is going back to a movie, but like a lot of people think that they're bad and actually they're phenom, you know? And it's all about the connection that you have with someone. Yeah, I completely agree. Totally. Like you could you could have someone that's technically really good in bed, but you've got no connection with them, so you're like, oof, no. Yeah. And you could have someone that's like technically really average, but then you have such an incredible connection with them, it's like the best sex of your life. Yeah. I think you just have to stop putting so much pressure on yourself. You know, it's it's a human act. It's not it's not like you have to be like good at high jump, you know? You don't like get a medal for it, there. do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. It's not like a point scoring system. Exactly, that's what I mean, that's what I mean, that's what I mean. And also I think if you do start dating someone and you're in a relationship with them, you'll slowly like just naturally become more comfortable and I guess gain more experience yeah. by being in a relationship. Exactly. And the more comfortable you are with someone, the more you... Explore? Explore. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to be crass. No, same. It's a family-friendly podcast. I know. Have a couple drinks. Not that I'm encouraging that, but at least, you know? At least. Well, good luck, sis. Good luck. You'll be great. You'll be fine. Tiny, tiny messages. Oh, Oh my my God. Oh, my God. No, I'm reading it. Oh, my God. It makes me feel emotional. Shit. Why? She did it, Tim. Did I fuck it up? Did I give the wrong advice? I haven't read it yet. Should I read it? I had a dream about my ex last night. The one that I broke up with, that I was still with him and I had to break up with him again in my dream. And it was that's horrible. awful. It was awful. And he was like not listening to me. And I was like, oh my God, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> right. I don't want to be with you. <laughs> okay. I am, f- okay, right. Maybe we should give some context. So this is from a few weeks ago. We had a dilemma, I believe, um, of a girl that had been in a relationship and she was like, do I leave? It's such a great relationship. Like, um, nothing's wrong in the relationship but obviously she wasn't in I think, the relationship feeling the feels nothing was right necessarily but nothing was wrong like no arguments just kind of plain sailing and I was like get out of there honey okay right I'm following up from your advice the other week why I've been with my boyfriend for five years and thought about being single well dot, 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 I did it I'm oh now officially God. single it hurts so much as I adore him and love him but I just started feeling that I began a future with him with these doubts I would begin to resent him um, which is the last thing I wanted to do. Very true. Mm-hmm. My situation sounded similar to yours, Vanessa. But during the relationship, I would have wave of doubts and waves of absolutely loving him so much and thinking I would marry him. There is still so much love for him and I'm finding it hard at the moment, so keeping myself busy with my family and friends. I am having faith that what is meant to be will be and if we are meant to be together, it will happen at a later date. Yeah, very true. But I just know this is the right thing in my gut. There you go. It's when the gut's like telling you. God, the gut. Whilst I'm definitely not over the relationship, I'm excited to enjoy being single for a bit. Work on myself without clouded judgment and hopefully getting back to the da- on the dating scene. However, I have not been single since I was 17 as I jumped from my previous relationship pretty quickly to this one. Don't worry, I did that too. Same. Any tips on how to get back out there? I only have one single friend who puts herself out there so need advice. Who never puts herself out there. Oh, who never puts herself out there so need advice. I don't really like the thought of dating apps, um, but also have no idea where I would even meet people at all. Thank you for your honesty and advice too. It really pushed me into making this step and I am so proud of this for myself. So much love to you both. Oh, that's... Oh my God. Wow. Oh, I'm really happy that that was the right advice. I was so worried you're going to be like, I followed your advice and I fucking regret it. <laughs> well no so I'm really pleased that you're enjoying it okay putting yourself out there it will yeah, come good for na- her well it, done it, it will just... come naturally I think but um it sounds like you've built you're building up like a lot of confidence and you're building up like this like 
identity of yourself, you know? And I'm such a believer in that. I know it sounds a bit like wishy-washy and deep and voodoo, but I think it's so real. I think the fact she's so at peace with her decision and she's so confident about it, she'll find like inner strength to like put herself out there naturally yeah. to date. And I also think that energy, the en- you put that energy out, it just comes back to you. Oh my God, yeah, it does. I'm really excited I'm for you. really excited this is for her. It's such an exciting time of life. I feel like right now it's like very much, there is quite a lot of like, times of change like people are like there's a lot of change in the in the air yeah there is a lot of change in the air like we're going into winter is that what you mean yeah <laughs> what, what else you know like there's a lot of makeups breakups people starting new jobs people Why are breaking out with boyfriends people, people are, are getting moving, engaged engaged there's a lot of breakups at the moment yeah what is that about i don't know people i don't know anyway i am um, in terms of getting yourself out there i think get yourself into like a really really epic routine yeah. i found like Getting myself into like the best wellness routine was something that just made me feel really like clean and like healthy and good about myself. So I had like, I did lots of lovely walks. I did lots of things, loads of things with friends. You have to keep yourself busy. I had a really good routine with going to like the gym and Pilates and stuff, which which just made me feel really like at peace. And like, it made me feel good about myself because I was like, okay, I look better, I feel good. And then just going out on like the occasional nights out that you meet people through friends and like, it, it will just happen. A lot of friends, I think it's so nice to meet people organically, not shutting down the dating apps. Yeah. I know also loads of friends that have met people through apps. I know loads of people. My, my sister and her fiance loads. met through a dating app. Like it's... But I do think it's also nice to meet people through friends too. And yeah. I think that a lot of people do. And being set up through mutual friends is quite fun. Because then you know that they can kind of like just, uh, what's the word? They can like kind well, of they can vouch, that vouch they're not for that like, person. Yeah, yeah, they're not like a bad person or whatever. But I also think don't be ashamed of going on a date. There's nothing no, to be there's ashamed. nothing wrong with I that. would maybe, I would, if I was single now, I don't think I would be against the idea of no, going on a dating app. Me neither. I think I would do it and I would just get on some dates just to sort of put the feeders out Even there. Even just window shopping also, for a bit. Exactly. You know I mean, like have a look at what's out there. Just gain yourself some really good experience from dating yeah and like chat. use it as like okay this is just like gonna be some education yeah for a little bit just gonna go on some random dates for a few months see how it goes and then you know what? now i'm ready yeah i'm gonna nail this first date yeah. like i rate myself on a first date you know yeah i'm gonna be the great first date ever. yeah yeah right that was it then excellent advice from us i think that's one of the best pieces of advice i've ever given actually to be found this podcast should call it a day there then oh we need to rate the wine i wasn't overly fussed about it I'm going to maybe rate it a four. I'm going to give it a six. It was all right. It was all right. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you so much. Thank you so much for coming on to me. Thank you so much for having me. Bye. Bye.